The following segment is sponsored by Springfield Clinic. Joining us this Wellness Wednesday is Abby Morgan of Springfield Clinic GI. And today we're talking about esophageal cancer. So my first question, Abby, are what are some of the most common symptoms of this cancer and when should someone see a doctor if they experience these symptoms? Some common symptoms might include difficulty swallowing, which could feel like food getting stuck on the way down, or weight loss secondary to an altered diet because of difficulty swallowing. It may also include heartburn um, and any symptoms that should, any symptoms that are there should be evaluated thoroughly. So I would just encourage anyone who's regularly having heartburn or difficulty swallowing to follow up with their healthcare provider. Yeah, what are the risk factors for developing esophageal cancer and are there any preventative measures people can take? Yeah, so two significant risk factors would be tobacco use and uncontrolled acid reflux or heartburn, which can cause a condition called Barrett's esophagus. So anyone who's had heartburn for more than 10 years or regularly uses medications to treat heartburn should be evaluated to see if they're appropriate for a screening for Barrett's esophagus because then we can prevent esophageal cancer. And what were some of those mo uh, most common treatments uh, options for esophageal cancer and how do you decide which treatment is best for each patient? Yeah, so it totally depends on the patient and the size of the cancer, the location of the cancer, and there are many different modalities that can be used including surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and oftentimes speech therapy to help with any difficulty swallowing as well. Gotcha. And where can viewers go to schedule an appointment? Yeah, so you can go to the Springfield Clinic website and get our department phone numbers and call us directly. And we'd love to see anyone who has any problems. Um, you can also get in touch with your primary care provider and they can put in a referral to us as well. All right, thank you so much, Abby, for providing us with that information. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.